Hello guys, just a quick vlog. It might actually be like five minutes, I don't know. But um, I am gonna do a quick review of a little new equipment I bought. But uh, to tell you where I've been, I actually been to a, a retreat and I wanted to say that that was a wonderful experience. Um, it was very relaxing, it's very organic and therefore, and we really got to pray for one another, really got to emphasize the family of it. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, mom over there uh, this little guy right here this is the Dan Electro Ho Dad that's H-O-D-A-D 2 so I guess this is the second model and stuff um, basically it comes with an input your guitar inputs here the, the tone knob is here the gain knob is in the middle and the volume knob is also the on switch so as you can see, the lights turn on as I switch it on. And uh, it comes in with uh, double speakers, two power lines, whereas a other practice amps that have one. And uh, yeah, and the, the company Dan Electro, and I actually dropped it a few times, so there might be a couple of dents, but hopefully it, it didn't do anything to damage the sound. But I don't think so. It turns out pretty good, and actually I like this tone a lot. The, I mean, the ideal practice amp is I think personally is the Roland Microcube that came out a couple years ago and that one is really good because it can essentially make a big sound and you can put a lot of effects on it and everything but this is more like something you put on your table something to brighten up the day it's uh, it's a seafoam green as Fender would call it and it's uh, it's very you know it's a very like retro looking kind of amp so I really dig it that's why I liked it and uh, I play it a lot. I played it a lot at the guitar shop I work at, the String Connection. And uh, it was 40 bucks, and it just time I needed a practice amp, so I was like, okay, I'll get it. My F Fender MD20 was burning out. I, I unscrewed it and I pretty much ruined it. So I needed to throw that away, and I needed a new cable. So this, uh, this one happened to be on this display, and no one was buying it, so I took it for myself. Um, I had to use some of my, I had to use a lot of my work money. Pretty much on all my work because I need a new cable, but um yeah, but even but even that like I even got it for like a ridiculous price. You can get these online, on uh, like for like even twenty four bucks to really twenty bucks. It's really just if you need a practice amp and everything. Um, I will show you the sounds later. Keep in mind that the you know this is a practice amp, so don't expect big sound don't expect the thing but um, in terms of the tone of it I really like it it's um, it has a very it, the box says it, it has a great it's a 60s toy and it really does kind of live up to its name it has that 60s tone you would get and, all that. and I'll show you that what what I mean and uh, it has a 60s styles look and you can play a lot of stuff and uh, the gain on it too and it, in terms of the feedback it's it's really well I, I don't really hear any um, um, like like noise or buzzer out of it like that. My Fender NV20 had tons of it and this one actually has a better filter I guess. I don't know what you call it. Hey guys, so this is up close and now we're gonna play with how it sounds. Hopefully the microphone through the webcam will pick it up pretty well. Hopefully it doesn't get all gritty but here is the uh, neck pickup for the oh my guitar by the way is the Schecter C1 Plus they don't make this model anymore and what's cool about this guitar is particularly is that I can make it a, from a humbucker to a single coil and basically when I pull this knob out here it can turn into a single coil now it's a humbucker mode so we'll call it that so it's on the neck pickup humbucker mode and here's that sounds <laughs> together.
volume's not all the way up because when I when I put crank up the volume, it puts a little grit to it, and I don't really like that. So, but what I like about my guitar particularly is that I can split the pickup, and that gives it a lower gain, so therefore I can pump up the volume. And uh, let me just actually tink up the tone. So the tone knob, tone knob, and the volume knob are all the way up, and this is what it sounds like on the neck pickup. Let's try the gain. So let's, let, uh, let's lower the volume since we're on humbucker mode now. And I'm gonna boost up the gain. And the gain is cool because, as you can see, it has a little grit to it, but it, there's not much sound to it, which is really good. But you can hear that. You can hear that the distortion is going up. So we're gonna put some gain on it. And this, we're on the uh, neck pickup. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my my neck pick was actually kind of broken. It's uh, the wiring and stuff like that. Okay, we'll let those rid of later. This is the middle pickup. it in a nutshell um, there's not really much um, reverb there's no delay none of that it's just um, it's just tone and gain that's really it um, looking back at the, um, the sound recordings actually you know I will tell you you know up in close in the camera I guess this is distinct but really take my word for it um, it really does have a um, it does have a different tone when you play it differently and everything. I didn't really practice, I didn't really prepare for it and everything. But that's what, that's sort of a blueprint of it and everything. Hopefully it'll sound different when I do recordings and when this little guy is under the table so that the uh, the full grid of it kind of doesn't go up close. Um, what I like about this also is that it not only it teaches me, I think practice amps are important because they, they are for practice. So it does teach you, um, most practice amps don't won't have a great tone. So it forces you to experiment and to figure out, okay, so how can I make the best out of the tone? Um, so don't feel like it's a waste of money and everything. But uh, if you can, get one that's uh, decent and clear. Um, there's, a, there's a whole list of them. And, uh, I can, and I can't say which one's the best, which one's the worst. It really depends on what you get, what's your, what's your price range. We can, that's a whole other topic. But thank you for listening, and uh, happy rocking, you guys.